guys so i made this yesterday this is going to go on the wall in front of adana's class it's so cute i actually took my time to make it look at my butterflies see i'm bad like that <laughs> but yeah it's going to go on the wall um in front of the wall of adana's class um i just wanted to personalize it and make it cute adana's birthday is in two days but anyways kaito is sick kaka say hi come come so they'll see your face come <laughs> come close kaito say hi Oh, my kaka is sick. I'm so sorry, baby, okay? okay? Kaito is sick, so today is Kaito's day. We're going to run some tests now. Then, after running the test, um, we're going to buy Kaito a new toy. Because when you're sick in this house, you get a new toy. Considering that I just did toy clearance yesterday, and I gave her some toys. And today already, I'm back to buying. See, you guys, it's, it's, it is what it is. Let's not even talk about it. Kaito is getting a new toy today because he's sick. And then, my dear mother, that's so cute. And then, um, he's also going to eat pizza, right? Because whenever you're sick in this house, we'll buy you your favorite food, which for Kaito is pizza and jollof rice. He loves pizza. I made jollof for him this morning. He didn't really eat it that well, but he never says, he never says no to pizza. So I'm going to buy him pizza. Hey, gift, I forgot that bag. Let me tell you to bring you. Anyways, um, then give to leave us partly, part way, and go run some errands. But oh yeah, that's that. Let's just get going. Kaito is sick. See that? Look. Smile. Smile for me. Smile for me. Now. Is it because you want to choke you small injection? Have you got that number? Is it because of small injection? Smile for me now. It's not paying you. It's not paying you, okay? Okay? It's not paying for you, yeah? I'll I'm going to buy you a new toy and I'm going to buy you pizza. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. Hey! Don't cry so they won't laugh at you at home, yeah? You guys so we are done from the pharmacy actually yeah this is a pharmacy i've always gone to i've been going to this pharmacy now for about i don't know probably up to five years right and i just recently found out that i can actually run tests in the pharmacy so usually when my kids get sick and i want to test them we go all the way to the hospital pay for consultation only for us to you know run the same test then they will now prescribe the same meds like it's it, it's a repetitive cycle but i found out that this pharmacy now they do test so that's where kaito and i went today i didn't even bother going to the hospital if we now find out is anything serious then we will not go to the hospital but um kaito cried sweet boy come and show your face come let them tell you sorry come let them tell you sorry now come oh everybody say sorry to kaito <laughs> kaito cried the boy does not like needle long story short we are at a store now called simply kids we are here to buy him new toy because in our house whenever you're sick you get what new toys okay let's go I want 
to quickly even talk about what happened today. By the way, we just finished shopping. Kaito, are you happy? Yeah. Okay, so today's vlog is basically me and Kaito spending our day together. Let me tell you guys what happened this morning here. Yeah. So to cut a long story short about what happened this morning, like some people, a woman and a group of men, they're from something waterboard, something, some, I don't even know where they said they are from. Um, they were asking for the landlord or the caretaker of the house or something like that. And, um, you know, I was on my way to take the kids to school. And then after talking to them, I'm like, oh yeah, what you're talking about? They said <laughs> that they got reports that people in our compound used to waste water. We used to wash too much and bath too much. So we used to waste water. See, this is something somebody came to say. In this country, this early morning. I was like, see, what you're saying has, it has nothing to do. Like, I'm on my way to take my kids to school. The man was like, if you say it like that, I'll block the road. I was like, okay, no problem. Block the road. Okay. Now, uh, I left the person in front of the car. Uh, they parked and blocked my, my street. So I couldn't move. I just called my husband on the phone. My husband was around. As my husband came out, you see the way this guy humbled himself as he was talking, was now trying to explain small, small. You know, my husband is a calm man. So after he explained, my husband was like, okay, so what does he have to do with my wife and kids? Like, what does he have to do with blocking the road and not letting my kids go to school? Oh, God, my husband like, I need to know what, like, what is the relationship? In the process of everything, instead of even getting heated, my husband was already angry. He started getting heated because it just did not make sense whatsoever. What do I have to do with it? And we're a lot in that compound. We're six, six tenants in that compound. Like, what am I paying the price for something that... You guys, you don't even want to know how this thing ended. Like, you really do not want to know how everything ended. Anyways, my husband got mad. I now stay even when they were like they were trying to talk like hey they were trying to talk to me and I said I want to take my children to school. I'm like before uncle, why will I not take my children to school? So I now started shouting. I started shouting back at the woman. The woman was trying to shout at me. Let me now tell you something, which is the, mo the purpose of this part of this vlog, right? The moment I started shouting back at the woman, you don't have respect for your husband. I started flying up and down. I say what? What is the relationship? How did we get here? Like, I got mad. I'm like, are you mad? Which is, I don't have, like, what does it have to do with anything? That they are oppressing you in the house does not mean I cannot have an opinion. Because my husband is here, I should just shut up and let my husband do the talking. Because I'm such a, a commodity that my husband paid for and bought. So, like, it does not even make sense. And this is a woman that started saying it. Or even all the other men. Eh, woman, woman, I be madam. They say even woman. What they say? Oh, women. Madam. Eh, yeah, you don't have respect for your husband. See the way you are talking. See the way you are shouting. You don't have respect. To... And I realized... Kako, can you please stop making noise? And I realized that whenever it comes to having an argument with all these, like... I don't want to call them illiterates, but to be honest, even if you have the highest form of education, you're an illiterate to me because... Which is the talk? No makes sense. The most annoying thing about having an argument with them is the fact that they find a way to relate everything to man. Okay? They find a way to relate every problem back to man like literally if they know include man inside they never start they cannot have a logical argument they cannot like just know at this point they now removed the car from the road not to me because my husband was really getting mad one man there was even like you woman see the way i shouted like a mad woman my husband vexed eh? <laughs> say good beat them <laughs> my husband vexed and i said holding my husband like it was so chaotic why would you block me from passing okay but to, to for this to cut the long story short again at the end, it was our neighbor, one woman that is mentally challenged. She's mentally challenged. She's the one that told them that she suspects that we used to use washing machine too much in our compound and we used to bath too much that we're wasting water. I'm like, can you talk to please? Can you stop making noise? I'm like, what kind of rubbish is that? At the end of the day, apparently, so the police people now, the woman, when she came out, she was really smelling of drugs. So they actually went in with the woman i don't know if they arrested at the end of the day it was just an unnecessary confrontation an unnecessary encounter and the fact that as a woman in this country you cannot say your mind without your husband being tricked into the problem without somebody saying you're disrespectful you're this you're that like for something that has uh, mind you i wasn't even talking to my husband i was shouting back at someone that was shouting at me i was like you know what this mentality that's why you will not go far i was telling the woman i was like, see and I'm very proud of everything I told her. I said, that's why you will not go far in life. That's why you keep suffering. Because if you came and talked to me like a civilized person, without this whole gra gra, you're blocking road for who? Hey, <laughs> God. <laughs> Anyways, if you came and talked to me like a civilized, normal person, eh, you wouldn't even get to this. In fact, if that money you're looking for, I will even open my wallet and say, I, I got money, money is here. <laughs> 
I will open my wallet and even dash you money and we'll just be going and we'll just move on. If you try to even say what the problem was, oh, we got a complaint. Somebody called saying this. No, they came as per government workers who have come to do our job. At the end of the day, they left with no money and shame. You know, at some point, my husband was even like, one was saying eh, <laughs> that he's going to arrest everybody and take everybody to the police station. My husband said, even your guy cannot arrest me. Okay? So don't even be talking nonsense here. See, eh, Nigeria, we have a long way to go. And let us stop adding man, man to every problem. In fact, 99 of issues I have with people outside, man must enter. Man must enter. You are so disrespectful. You are so because I'm talking to you. Yeah, so this you don't respect your husband. You don't do 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 do. We may not suffer. Anyways, I think I can just give you guys this gist. Have you had? I feel like the lighting just really getting too much. But anyways, have you guys had any encounter like this in this um in Nigeria? Because I feel like it's quite common. It's quite common, like me and Adesi. Adesi has been there when one happened. The man kept saying, eh. Is it what was even saying? One woman there was even telling the man, Don't worry, I say, Woman, I respect you. That's why I will not talk back. Or something that stupid. Like, you cannot voice your, you cannot voice your opinion because you're, you're talking to a man. And the, this man that this one was trying to claim respect for, one hungry man that was in the wrong. Me cannot vex. I don't too vex. Kaito is sick. It's time for him to take his, his med. So he's about to just take this for his fever. Now, we're going to buy pizza. Kaita, are you excited? <laughs>